One of the most important issues, and, and frankly one of the more challenging ones so far, has been addressing the question of growth and consumption. Very often consumers see the word sustainable and they don't really know what that means. So it's really up to companies to define it, to shape it, to make it exciting, and to infuse products with sustainability and make sustainability just a 21st century version of quality. What we're seeing across the world is really young people are taking charge. Young people finally have the means to have their voice heard through social media, through all the platforms available. It's really about this idea of self-publishing and creating a voice that speaks to young people through the lens of young people. Often it's about status and peer learning and watching what other people are doing. How do we enable that towards sustainability and get them to think about sustainability in a way that makes them rethink what a good life is. In the first 15 minutes that a millennial wakes up, what are the big decisions they make and can we help them make more sustainable decisions? So those go from, I wake up, I need to take a shower, I need to choose breakfast, what do I eat? I need to choose a transportation mode to get to work or to get to school. There are more and more people today that are in this age range and have their voices heard globally, which has never been possible in the past. So we need to understand what they prefer, what kind of words they use, and how to channel the power of this generation. So what we're doing is engaging young people on social media platforms around the world to start thinking about sustainability in a really interesting and aspirational way. So rather than looking at sustainability as something that they have to do, they're starting to see that consuming in a really sustainable way is something cool, something that they want to do and something that they want to share with their friends. In order for businesses to be more sustainable, we are talking about basically two things. One, innovation. The other one, collaboration. Governments are doing that, their bit, but at the same time, if the companies themselves are aware about their responsibilities towards the consumers and try to make them more aware about the choices that they have, I think it's going to be very vital and very relevant. We see this among young millennials. They don't want to own stuff. They want experiences, they want utility, they want services. So the consumer industry really has the opportunity to look at consumption in new and different ways, to be more innovative in the way they approach what they have to offer for consumers, to develop new products, to develop services, to think of consumption um, in a whole new different way. If there's one thing that I ask anybody who participates in the conversation about sustainable consumption to do, it's to share the education that they've had with one other person. Because if we all take one lesson and we share it with somebody else, we really will start to create systemic change. And when we create systemic change, we will move towards a more sustainable future. Collaboration is no longer a choice. Collaboration is a condition. Partnership is absolutely an essential model and it's an essential way of getting things done.